one more thing the presentation is if you are familiar with html you know how this works right so this is a template that used by my professor so i'm basically just using the same template to cut short the points that i want to express okay let's move on uh so we are know about the expressions right plus minus operation so does not have to worry about that much so if you want to uh, like i said we i was trying the same thing right i was trying to find 7 by 4 so 7 by 4 doesn't provide necessarily the output for the output window so you need to have a function such as print to show the output i did the same mistake before so uh, what do you think would be the output of this one do you think it will if by any chance or will it run any idea okay so it won't break but uh, we have to keep in mind that if you are writing a, a string uh, string as an uh, print uh, i mean if you are trying to give a string to output from the print you have to put it between the quotes it's a, it can either be a double quotes or single quotes but i there is something about the double quotes and single quotes i will come back to that in a brief moment so if it is numeric you don't have to explicitly mention within the quotes but if it is a string you have to uh, 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 make it to be inside the double quotes or single quotes for sure or else it will break for uh, it will break So that's what is mentioned. It can be either a double quotes or single quotes. So let's talk about data types. So we are familiar with strings. We just played with it right now. So that's something that we can be okay with. So like I mentioned, there is a difference between double quotes and single quotes the way that we use. So do uh, do you have any idea about which one would break or which one wouldn't? There is one quote that will break if you try to print one of these lines. So what? you think second one will break okay so you are familiar with it so do you think the third one will break by any chance okay so this one how about this what what do you think that this one will print okay no okay so yeah that's exactly right so uh, people who might not understand what we are talking about so what we are trying to say is uh in the first statement there are double quotes and uh, the both ends so whatever that is mentioned in between it is considered as a single uh, quote it doesn't represent python that it is trying to print something or it's trying to put something between quotes so this will be neglected if you have uh, single quotes between double quotes or vice versa so this will break of course because python will think the quotes between this will be the intended output so it will try to break since you mentioned the quotes after that as well uh so coming back to this if you want to uh, uh you know have a single quote in between a single quote statement so you have to mention this slash so what the slash does is it will try to tell python that so whatever that follows after this slash would be neglected uh, by the python as a you know uh, syntax you know so this single quote will be treated as single quote by python rather than trying to uh, you know uh, complete the statement uh, considering this is the closing quote for that so that would be it so if you again want to use that uh, slash as a output so you have to mention double slash so this slash will prevent uh, you know this slash from telling python that it is intended for slash and this slash will be used to tell python that this is intended as a single quote so that's what the statement is about so let's just try this whether it's right or not Okay, there's some spaces in between. Give me a sec. So yeah, now it will work. So this would be the output. You can't see. So this is the expected output. So let's just move on. So integers. So we might be seeing integers since C, C plus plus. So that would be a problem. So, how big is the biggest integer in Python would be? So, any idea about what is the biggest numerical value that you can represent in Python? Any idea? Come again. 
12 digits. Now, this is a 64-bit operation and I have 64-bit application of Python running. So, that would be the hint. So, if it is a 64-bit operation, how many maximum, uh, you know, what is the maximum value that can be represented in 2 to the power 64? So, we have to think it that way in binary. So, let me run that. So, this is the value of the maximum uh, in a numerical representation that we can make in Python in this machine. So, if it is a 34-bit machine, so it will be a different number since it is a 2 to the power 32 minus 1. So, that would be the output. So, this value that I mentioned with the sys function, this is a library function and I am using the library, I mean, this is the library uh, uh, function max size and I'm using that to call the maximum value out of it. So that value would be the same as 2 to the power 63 minus 1. If it is a 30, uh, 32 bit machine, it will be like 2 to the power 31 minus 1. So that's the same thing. Come again. Yeah, exactly. So so good thing to note that yeah you can basically if you have some doubts you can literally google everything you will find the answer in python.org so you can keep these things in mind if you are playing with a lot of math operations so yeah this is some basic stuff so that's fine so floating point numbers if you are not familiar with floating points it's just uh, values with uh, you know mandeza part uh, or if you have something uh, that you can't represent in a whole number, that would become set of floating points. So, there's a problem in Python like any other programming language, the precision. So, if you come, up, if you come across the problem of uh, precision before, so you might understand it is impossible to represent point 0.1 in Python. So, why do you think that would be the case? Any idea? So why is it impossible to represent uh, Python output in 0 0.01? Base 10 0 0.01 can't be represented in Python. So why would that be the statement? So yeah, let me explain it. So 0 0.1 you can't express because it is uh, Python represents the numerical values in terms of binary, right? So, if you want to represent point 0.1, imagine that uh, how binary input, uh, how, how, how you represent the same in binary. So, Python has to convert point 0.1 to binary, right? So, what is the least, uh, you know, uh, value that can be represented in Python? Uh, it's not the least value. Uh, let's start with the maximum point value that can be represented by Python, which would be 1 by 2, which is 0 0.05, right? So, if you want to represent point 0 0.05, the binary uh, output of that one will looks like 0 0.1 which is in base 2 but not in base 10 so if you want to represent point 0.1 more accurately you have to add more mandeza part to the after the point value so you can try as much as you want but point 0.1 in base 10 can never be represented by binary because it's base 2 so there is no way on earth you can do that. So that is a problem of precision that you will be facing in Python or many other programming languages. There is no solution to it by far. So you have to keep that in mind if you have like a lot of, uh, 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 if you're like a molecular physicist, you have to keep that thing in mind before trying to play with it. So by far we have like 53 bits allocated for point value representation in Python. So you can make it less errant to us, but you can't avoid the complete uh, picture of getting it wrong. So that would be my statement. Uh, let's coming back to the point combination of one or more values. So th that would be an expression. If you're trying to combine, uh, you know, different data types, you have to use some operations to do it. Uh, so these are the basic operations you might be familiar with it. So we are almost covered all the operations. So if you want, just take a peek of it. So these are some. Yeah, we already played with this before in the beginning, so we don't have to. Yeah, that would. 
the output of it. So integer division, we saw the integer division, the double slash. So that will uh, only produce the integer part of the uh, division. So that would be it. And of course, we talked about the modulo operation. <coughs> Yeah, they are explaining how the model operation works, which is not necessary. So, string expression. So, what do you think would be the output for this one? So, here it is an expression because we are combining a numerical value with a string value. So, what do you think would be the output? Would be? So, it's basically multiplying hello three times without a space so that's what uh, that's what it mentioned you can try the same thing in a different order as well so this will be the same yeah that would be the same so if you represent a, a numerical value with a string function with a multiplication operator it will basically multiply so App casting is an interesting feature in Python. Uh, this is not allowed in Java for sure. So uh, let me give you an example. So let me tell, you, let me show you what I'm talking about. So there is a uh, let's say there's a variable x, and you want to keep it as an integer, but you have that in a string format. So this is a string format of Five. So remember that five is currently in string format. So I want to use that string value five as an integer. So I can convert it into integer if I have the int function and if the input is proper enough to convert to an integer. Thankfully it worked. So we have to print text of course. Okay, or in other words, we can print the type of the int type of what the x is about right okay it is a class int so that's what i'm trying to say this is something that you can't do in java so in other words python is powerful at the same time it is uh, i would say it is loosely coded in other words it might break at some point uh, break in the sense you can uh, tamper with the value you need to be very careful about uh, uh, you know what you are playing with so this is something you need to be cautious about when you are writing a code so someone tried might be able might be able to crack the code if you are uh, not familiar with uh, this type casting feature so that is a security uh, vulnerability that you might face so just throwing it out there so like i said int converts things from int i mean thing whatever that is inside if it is possible uh, to be converted to an int so you need to make sure that the input you are trying to convert to an int can be converted. If you try a string of hello and put it into an int function, give me a second. So this is basically another example of how to do that. Uh, yeah, bunch of examples. So I want 15 apples would be the output for this one. And uh, it would be the same. But the 15 will be treated as string since you converted it as string. And uh, style formats. So uh, let me talk about this. Uh, it is important to mention that the indentations to Python is very, uh, very critical because you won't have like uh, flower brackets or uh, close open close brackets uh, like you used to have in other programming languages. So indentation is the key way of uh, defining functions or you know uh, defining where the code has to break in between. So indentation is very important. And uh, one good thing to note down is, if you are using both Mac and Windows, make sure that you have been using uh, if I'm if statement, and if you're typing something, and uh, if you want to intend it, try to use space instead of tab. One good reason is that if you use tab, uh, an amount of space that is being covered by tab in Windows differs from amount of space you ca it's covered in Mac. So it is best practice to use like space instead of using tab to indent something, right? So that is something I came across. So keep that in mind. But I will always use a tab in my programs because I never touch Mac at any point. So I knew that. But if you're moving between different platforms, just make sure that it might break. 
off. Give me a second. 